Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I am really excited about today's video because it was kind of a like inspiration video from a recent TikTok of mine that went viral. I'm gonna have my editor play it fully with sound right now. We jump street and we're about to jump in your ass. Mm -hmm. Right in the crack. Yeah, it's stupid. It's really stupid. But for some reason, it seemed to connect with the masses. <laughs> Let's see where I'm at with it right now. Um, almost a million views and 173,000 likes on this video, which to me says that many of you agree that skincare brands that make makeup products are elite. And sometimes the skincare that comes out of makeup brands is not always as good as the vice versa. That's not for every single brand, but I wanted to really highlight and showcase the skincare brands that make really good makeup today. And I mean like brands where their bread and butter is almost all skincare products and then they decided to start to branch out into making makeup. They may have one or two color cosmetic products in their line, but most of their items are skincare. So I'm very excited to say that a part of this video is sponsored by Beekman 1802, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. You guys know how I feel about a lot of their skincare products. I have talked about them for since I started this channel, essentially. And we will be talking about their brand new Milk Tint SPF 43, which I have also talked about in a few other videos, along with uh, some of my favorite brands and the things that they're coming out with, a little bit of makeup news along the way. So if you are interested in this video, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. We talk about skincare, makeup, vlogs, fashion. We kind of do old YouTube with new makeup and I think you like it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of skin prep. Let's zoom in a bit. Because mommy needs to prep before she can go in and step. And it's funny because there was a time in my life not too long ago where I really was not into um, skin prep and I would just go straight in with my like coverage products. And now I am so deep into the skincare game of what my what is on my face before I start my makeup. It's crazy how things change so quickly. So I'm gonna start with a few primer style products, specifically these two to get going. The first one is new from Glow Recipe. This is their Hyaluronic Gloss Balm, and this is from their Plum Plump line. I'm counting this as a makeup style product because it's a bit of a hybrid. And if you know um, Glow Recipe, you know that they have only a few products that I would consider to be makeup and skincare hybrids. One of them, they're mostly primers, but one of them is newer and it is their Strawberry BHA Pore Smoothing Drops. I like to use these as a makeup primer, but today we're gonna be doing uh, something else to prime, but I do think that Glow Recipe is working towards having more makeup products available in their line. And uh, they also have uh, the Lip Pops, which are from the Watermelon line. I haven't talked about those in forever. I haven't heard about them in forever. But this is their first lip product they've come out in quite some time. Kind of matches my nails. I really like this. I just talked about this in a recent video and I think it is a great way to prep your lips before makeup. I think it's a good at home balm. I don't love that it's not as glossy as maybe like my road lip treatment, but I still like it a lot. It has a very, very faint scent to it, like a fruity scent. And I just think that Glow Recipe is going to dive more into the makeup game. So I wanted to mention that as our first. And the second one is um, from a brand that I really admire and care about and think is amazing. And they are slowly going into the makeup game as well. And that is the brand Live Tinted. You might say that this is more of a makeup brand. I would say it's more of a skincare brand. They mostly focus on SBF style products. They have a stick, they have a, um, a really nice mineral SPF. They also have um, like a vitamin C stick as well as some multi-use like cheek and lip balms. But this is their Hue Brow. This is a like brow lamination gel. And I have really been into laminating and doing my gel and my eyebrows before the rest of my makeup recently um, just to get like that really clean look whereas I used to do my brows very last. This is a really cool applicator. It's kind of like the Benetint one, like the one from Benefit. It has pretty much the exact same shape where it's 
fuller on one side so it gives you the opportunity to like really put the gel in and then gives you two options for brushing through your brow hair depending on how thick and coarse they are my eyebrows are looking insane right now but i am waiting to get them done until right before we go to france so that they're like really fresh and pretty before we go so they are what they are right now it also has a flat side to it so you can kind of like lay your brows down if you're more of like a lamination type person i would say i don't recommend doing this on top of your makeup because it can get inside the tube like your makeup can get in there and it ends up mixing with it and then you'll get those like little white balls on your eyebrows which nobody likes but i love this stuff the um the hold is really nice and i just think it does a good job of giving you a nice natural brow shape and look and i really like live tinted i'm pretty sure that they're about to come out with a tinted serum as well because I just saw on their Instagram that they were like teasing something. So we will have to keep our eyes out for that. For now, this is just as good as the brows are gonna get. I'm gonna give them a little bit to dry down and then we will go into our skin prep, which we will be using, drum roll please, three different products from Beekman. They let me choose what I wanted to talk about in this video, which I really appreciate because obviously you guys know what my favorites are and what I talk about the most, and all three of these have made it into videos that have talked about how much I enjoy using them. So uh, we're going to start with the milkshake. This is the Hyaluronic Acid and Squalene Facial Toner Mist. This is a biphase toner, so basically it has like the hyaluronic acid on the bottom and the squalene and the oils on the top and you give it a little shaky shake and it allows you to have a really nice mix of those ingredients on your face to not only tone and hydrate your skin but also moisturize it and on top of that the freaking mist is so good I have talked about the mist mm, on this product into the ground at this point there is no other mist out there as fine as this product. I don't care what you say. There's nothing like it. And so I like to go in with a mist to really kind of start the hydration process on my face before I go in with makeup. And I'll use something like this at the beginning and the end of my routine. Also wanted to mention that the milkshake also comes in a mini now. This is available at Ulta and the mist is also super fine um, on the mini. So you don't have to worry about that. It is amazing. I literally carry one of these in my purse with me at all times. This stuff is so, so, so good. If there's one thing, one to two things in this video that I would say to pick out, I would say definitely try the milkshake. There's not been a person that I've introduced it to that hasn't liked it. I'm just saying. Next up to really add some more hydration to the face. Um, it's been a while since I've done my skincare this morning in which I did use SPF and all of that, but I want to rehydrate the face and give it a little bit more of a boost. We're gonna use the Bloom Cream Daily Moisturizer. The damn bloom cream. I'm pretty sure this won a very best award sometime in the past couple years. This is a brand new bottle, which is so satisfying because if you didn't know, on the bloom cream, when you push it down, it creates a little flower. <laughs> You're kidding me. I've worked on many campaigns with the bloom cream. They also have a few different um, boosters that you can mix in with the bloom cream. It is such a thick, moisturizing, really nice moisturizer. I like to use this one more at nighttime or when my skin is feeling extra dry, but also in a routine where you're doing makeup that you want to last, like having your skin really hydrated is going to make such a difference. And also this is going to help lock in all of the amazing ingredients that we just put on from our milkshake. Um, the bloom cream is definitely for all skin types. It has goat milk in it, which is their whole, the cornerstone of the entire brand of Beekman 1802. And I just love it. I have given this to my mom, my mother-in-law, my husband, my friends. Like I have given bloom cream as a gift so many times because so many people really enjoy using it. And it's also just a fun product to have. It works well with other products. It pairs well with makeup or other skincare products. And, and it just leaves this beautiful glow on the skin. You guys already know, you've probably already tried this and that is a great way to prep your skin. And you may or may not know that, as we've talked about in this video, Beekman is starting to kind of like dive into, like dabble into like color cosmetics. They have a few lip products that have already been in their line, which we're gonna use a different brand for lips today. This is the first time they've come out with a color cosmetic for the complexion. And this is their Milk Tint SPF 43 Broad Spectrum Tinted Primer serum 
It's a mouthful. I have talked about this a few times and how much I really, really like it. I'm currently wearing the shade Tan, or I will be wearing the shade Tan today. The shade Medium also works for me, but because it's summertime and I'm a little bit tan right now, this is the shade I go for. This is a zinc oxide based sunscreen slash skin tint. It is 12% zinc oxide. You can definitely use this on its own as a sunscreen. However, I do recommend layering a sunscreen when wearing this product just to make sure you're getting enough coverage. You wanna make sure you're really shaking this up well to make sure all the ingredients have been mixed together. And you can also use this with your fingers, a brush, a sponge. I've used it with all three. I think I'm gonna try fingers and a brush today because I've usually just used my fingers or a sponge, but I love bringing this on vacation because it's a great way to make sure you are protecting your skin with SPF, but also getting a really nice even coverage to the skin and you guys know i'm addicted to skin tints so when i saw that this was coming out i was so happy it has a really cute little dropper as well so i just take a little bit at a time and i will drop it straight onto my face i'm going to use this brush actually from live tinted and see how this looks with a brush because i have been applying it with my fingers and just see i love the feel of this product it is so glowy and gorgeous, but it doesn't feel sticky on the skin. I feel like it works better with fingers. Just, it's got more of a like, feel that, ugh, or you see that? It's just like this really nice, glowy, lightweight coverage. Yeah, it definitely works best with fingers. You could use a brush, but I'm gonna do the rest of it with my fingers. Of course, this product also has goat milk in it, which I love, and it's good for so many things in your skin. It's good with hydrating the skin, it's good with keeping it clear, it's good for oil control and a little bit of, if you have blemishes, dryness, or hyperpigmentation. There are a lot of great ingredients in this product. I'm just gonna blend it in. Honestly, a little goes a long way with this product as well. Like, I feel like I could have used half of the amount and gotten really good coverage, but it's very blendable. So as long as you continue to blend, you'll get a really seamless finish. And it gives you all day hydration on the skin, which I love and need, especially when it's hot out. Even though you may be hot from the sun and you're feeling oily, you still need to have hydrated skin so that your skin isn't producing more and more oil on its own. And this is the finish of those three Beekman products together. Super glowy, super hydrated, but not sticky or tacky, doesn't feel oily, and just looks incredibly healthy. You can also bring this up under the eyes if you wanted to skip doing concealer, if you just wanted to go out with a little bit of a tinted coverage look. But we we are gonna keep going here, do concealer, bronzer, the whole nine yards. I wanted to say thank you to Beekman for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you wanna pick up anything from Beekman, I will have all of the links and information in the description below, especially if you want to make this exact look, which I highly recommend because it is so pretty for the summer. Okay, now that our face is looking really even and hydrated, let's go in with a little bit of concealer. And this is gonna be from the brand Typology. You guys know how I feel about Typology. Typology is a French skincare brand and their main focus is skincare. However, recently have come out with color cosmetics like concealer, a skin tint, and lip oils. Amazing. All of them are amazing. I have an entire video on all of their makeup products, actually, if you are interested in that. But their concealers, I feel, are slept on. A lot of people like their skin tint. I really like their skin tint. But there is something special about their concealers. These are um, the not the best shade range, I will say, so that could totally be why. And even still, with like not a great shade range, I wear shade 1, which is fair and um, I definitely don't have a fair skin tone. So, you know, I definitely don't love the fact that they don't have a good shade range for everyone, but the actual formulation is stunning. It kind of reminds me of the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. It's definitely got more of a serum consistency than like a typical concealer. It's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more like packs a punch than like a concealer you would put on with a doe foot. It comes out of this packaging like kind of annoyingly fast. See, I'm not even squeezing it and stuff is coming out because it's a aluminum packaging, which is great for the environment, but kind of annoying for me. My best shade is in between one and two, but I usually just go for one to add a bit of a brightening effect. And it is sheer, so it gives you a little bit more option to go in between shades that you normally wouldn't. And I really think this could be used all over the face as well, but it pairs well with most products. And I'm just gonna take any extras that I have and apply it to areas where I feel I'm a little bit red. I'm pretty sure these have vitamin C in them. Let me see here. 
They also have, it's enriched with caffeine, niacinamide, and it says that it is a high coverage natural finish. I would disagree. I think it's more of a low coverage natural finish, but I guess in France this would be considered high coverage. <laughs> but I do really, really enjoy these, and if you are interested in Typology, I say make an order with this, their skin tint, and their lip oils if you want to try out some of their makeup products because they really are quite nice and feel amazing on the skin. And to continue on with this very sort of liquidy, like glowy base we have going on, we're gonna go in with a liquid bronzer just to add a bit of a contoured look to the face. And this is also from, again, a skincare brand. This is from Indeed Labs. This is their Nano Bronzing Drops, the Nano Bronze. And uh, basically, these are what I would consider to be an exact dupe for the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Drops that everyone is obsessed with. In fact, like this duo to me is better than getting the Drunk Elephant Drops and mixing those in. Like, this is better and the bloom cream is better and it gives you a similar effect. So what I'm gonna do also, this is much cheaper than the Drunk Elephant and it's available at Ulta. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna use a sponge to sheer this out. This is the shade. It's got a nice like mid-tone brown shade. It's a little warm. And I'm gonna use this with my sponge to lightly blend this into the face. I don't use liquid bronzers as much as I should because I always think that they are difficult to use. Like in my brain for some reason, I'm like, oh, liquid bronzers are annoying and they are always patchy. But then I go and I use one like this one or the one from Milk and I love it. So I'm like, what? Where is that idea coming from? Maybe just like old school makeup days where I used to feel like that was really difficult for me or when I was younger and liquid products weren't as good as they are now. I don't know, but I need to start pulling them out more often because they really do leave the most natural finish on the skin and they just sink right in because they're a liquid. They don't add any like coverage to the face. They don't add any like additional layer. It just looks like you have a bronzy face which I love. And because of that, they really do blend well with other products because they just sink into the skin. This is also a fragrance-free product and Indeed Labs has some really good skincare if you're interested in not exactly drugstore price skincare, but similar with really, really cool and different ingredient decks. And I like that they have come out with some makeup style products. They also have a primer that I would, that I believe was used on Euphoria for like helping with a little bit of mattifying. So really cool brand. I'm very much into them and I appreciate that this is, I don't know, my opinion better than the D bronzy drops. Just saying. I am feeling quite glowy. So we are gonna actually use a powder today. And while I was going through my drawers to pick out what I wanted to use, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't used this on camera. But this is Tatcha's The Silk Powder. And this is a very expensive powder that goes in their Silk Canvas line. If you were around back in the day, you know how viral and good the Tatcha Silk Canvas is. I don't know if I have any more with me but man, I used to be addicted to the Tatcha Silk Canvas to help with filling in my pores around my cheeks. That stuff is amazing. And they also have a powder that goes along with it as well as a liquid version of that primer. And I've had this powder forever and I don't use it so often because I have other ones that are just in my drawer. But we're gonna use it today and set the under eyes as well as just some of the forehead and chin. And I'm actually gonna use a sponge because that is my preferred method for loose powder. And I'm just going to dab this under the eye and around the chin and cheeks before we go in with our blush. And I feel like even if you are going in with more cream after you set, it really just depends on where you're setting and how much powder you're using. If you're just using it under the eye and maybe on your chin and forehead, you can still set those areas and then go in with a cream. Like that rule that cream and powder don't mix, it's, you know, it's true to an extent, but I think if you are really pinpointing where you're choosing to place your powder, you'll be fine, which is what I do. Cause I don't like to powder over all of my cream makeup, but more just like the base. I think that looks really pretty, very natural. I prefer to use 
use a sponge when do dealing with uh, loose powders because I think it just makes it sort of set into the skin and melt in rather than sitting on top. I do use a brush if I'm using a pressed powder, but with a loose powder, I can definitely recommend using a sponge. Tatcha is a 100% mostly skincare line. They have a few makeup items like this and then their primer, but for the most part, everything they make is incredibly expensive skincare. You definitely don't need this powder, but it is nice and I think it does a really good job of slightly mattifying the face, but also looking super natural. All right, next up we are getting into some blush sticks and I actually haven't talked about these very much, but it is from my favorite brand. Point blank, my favorite brand is Summer Fridays. I love Summer Fridays. I love all of their skincare. I really enjoy 99% of their makeup. I love all of their lip products, which we won't be using today, but I own everything they make. And these are their um, cheek and lip sticks, which are semi new to the brand and I feel like they haven't gotten too much love and I think it is because of the shade range. So the shade range is just eerily similar to the Persona Cosmetics um, blush shade range. It has a brown, a pink, and a red and none of the colors really speak to me like really really speak to me. These are the shades here and so I just am never drawn to use them even though I really do like the formula. They smell like bubble gum. Um, Summer Fridays is a 98% skincare brand. Everything they've created up until last year was skincare until recently they started coming out with color cosmetics with their lip products. They created a skin tint and now they have these blush sticks. And I got so excited this morning because I saw that they're actually releasing a brand new shade of the lip and cheek stick and it's in a like dusty rose shade which is perfect because I just felt like these were all very particular shades and I wanted something in between. So anyways, uh, until then we're going to mix two together because I don't like either of these 100% on their own. And we're gonna mix the shades Pink Skies and Warm Desert and get more of like a pinkish brown hue and use that as our blush today. I'm gonna use just like an angled blush brush for this and put that straight on my cheeks from my hand. I really do like this formula. It's very lightweight and it's very like, I don't know, skin focused feeling. It doesn't leave a ton of pigment on the face. It's easy to blend. And I've worn these shades before on their own and I just don't love them directly on the cheeks with my skin tone. I just prefer to mix them together. Even this red shade can be a little bit cute like on the center of the cheeks like that but I'm not wearing like a straight up red blush very often. You know, like I'm mostly mixing it with other colors or using a red lip over a red blush. Um, I went too crazy with the blush. Would you believe it? <laughs> Me, I went crazy with blush. So yeah, I enjoy these, but I will, I think enjoy these a lot more once that other shade comes out and I have a better feel on using it more often just cause the it's not my favorite shades, but I still really like them. Okay, so kind of rounding out the face and the complexion, we're going to go in with the face glaze from In Beauty Project. Again, something I talk about a lot and a brand that I really, really love. Um, In Beauty Project is a brand available at Sephora and their skincare is absolutely incredible. This product was like their first hybrid style product. It is this insanely glossy, glowy, sort of highlighted moisturizer. And I like to wear this on my cheekbones and on my eyelids as a pinpointed highlight. Or if I want to really maximize the glow. I'll also wear it underneath as a primer. And this is infused with squalene, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. In Beauty Project also makes really amazing lip oils. Those are like their two makeup products that they make. But I wanted to use something else for my lips today, but it was definitely on the docket of an amazing product that they make. It's just super lightweight and glowy and glossy and makes you look like you drink eight glasses of water a day. This is what it looks like blended in on the skin. And I just saw my friend recently, Devin, she mixed this in with the NYX Serum Concealer and wore it as a base and it looked so pretty. So I'm definitely interested in trying something like that. All right, I quickly added some faux freckles off camera because what is a full face of skincare without a little bit of freckles? Let's do our lips and then we'll finish off with our mascara. Um, this was a recommendation from you guys ages ago and I'm so glad that I picked it up. This is the Naturium Phyto Balm, Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the shade Jam. 
These are so good. My two favorite shades are Jam and Lychee, which is like a red shade. I have the older packaging that has the metal tip, but the new ones have a plastic tip to help with a little bit of environmental stressor. And oh my God, it's so pretty. It just feels so good on the lips. And I literally just did a video yesterday or two days ago where I was talking about like these really expensive lip products that have been coming out that are just like not even close to being as good as some of my favorites that are so, so, so much cheaper. This is $10 and with my discount code, which is always in the description below, it's actually only $8. And it holds up against some of the highest end products that I've tried. Naturium is available at Target. This is Susan Yara's brand. She comes out with really cool and innovative face and body products as well as a few different sort of makeup -y products. This is, I think, her only makeup product, but I would love to see like a blush stick or a mascara or something because she clearly knows what she's doing and this product is incredible and I'm sure you've probably already tried it. Okay, to finish off our skincare makeup look, we are gonna go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara. I am so impressed with this. I did a full face of um, Neutrogena makeup recently and I guess I kind of consider Neutrogena to be like in between like they both make skincare and makeup But I would say like come on. Let's really think about it. It's mostly skincare like I would say that's where they put all of their focus for their product development and the things that they do make in their makeup line are really good. They're just kind of like not marketed as much as their other products. And this mascara rocks. Like it's really good. This is the Hydro Boost one and all of the Hydro Boost line has hyaluronic acid in it, including this mascara, which I find to be really interesting. I'm wearing the waterproof version today and it has like a sort of, I don't know, not hourglass, but like a teardrop shape wand, but like it really does give you the volume. And that my friends is a full face of makeup from skincare brands. I wanna know what you think about this. Are there any products that you think I'm missing in this lineup? I wanted to be really intentional about which brands I was including in this video, and I think the look turned out so cute. I'm really excited to try out the new Summer Friday Balm because I think that that will just, ugh, make the look so much better. And again, thank you to Beekman for sponsoring a portion of this video. Love their products, love the way this look turned out. And honestly, if I didn't know any better, I would say that this was just makeup from makeup brands, which is why I love it when skincare brands come out with makeup, because not only does it look good, but it feels good and it's good for your skin. So I will see you guys in the next video really soon. Let me know if you have any questions and love ya.